Hey everybody, this is Carol Hill. Today is June 25th, 2017. I wonder I wanted to show you something on the mobile Family Tree app that you can do if you're in line waiting or you're at the doctor's or dentist's office and you're waiting to be called back. If you're like me, I don't like to wait. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you something that you can do with Family History just right from your phone. So what you will need is the Family Tree app from Family Search, which is right here. If you don't have it, we've talked about this before, go ahead and go to the Play Store if you are on an Android and just search for Family Tree. It will look like this, with this little icon. If you're on iPhone, go to your iTunes store and search for Family Tree also, it's the same. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the app. And this will bring you to the Family Tree app. And usually you're here on the pedigree view. But what we want to do is I want to show you what you can do if you're bored. We're going to go to this hamburger little stack here. This is on the droid. If you're on Apple, you'll see these three little dots down at the bottom in the right-hand corner. So just kind of play around with the iPhone and you'll, you'll be able to find it. But what you do is you're just going to click on here. And then as you can see, you have this screen that pops over and we're just gonna click here on ancestors with tax, tasks, it's hard to say. So what this does is it searches through your tree and it tries to find some things that maybe you can work on. For instance, these are record hints that maybe haven't been attached yet to some of your ancestors. So these are just some of my ancestors over here and these could be some record hints that they may be on. <clears throat> if you come down, whoops, I went a little bit fast. There's these little temples. If you're a member of the LDS church, there's these little temples and these will say that they might have some temple ordinances that need to be done if they're green. And you can click on, let me go up to this one that's a little bit yellow or orangish. You click on that and it'll tell you, you know, why it's that color. It says the person's record needs a standardized place in a birth, christening, death, burial, cremation, or marriage event. And so that's that's why you can't do the work yet because it doesn't have a place. It looks like it's got some dates, but it also needs a place. So it'll tell you what it needs there. So that's on the temple. So let's just click on one of these little blue and show you a task, a record hit that comes up. So this is Bertha Mary Engel, and it says that they found her in the Delaware Vital Records. And so I can just click right here, and this will just bring up the information, her name, that it was the birth, the event, the date, the place, and just and where the source is from. So what I can do from this point is I can go ahead and review this right here. So I'm just sitting in line waiting at the doctor's office or waiting to, to go to the bank or anything where you're kind of bored and waiting. <laughs> and and this will bring up, this is exactly what brings up what you, you'll find in Family Search. You can actually look at the image right there and this is the record and it just, on the left hand side it's showing Delaware Vital Records and on the right hand side is the person in your tree. And so what you can do is either you can click on details there, or if you want to attach this source right from your phone, you can just click that little, it's kind of like a paper clip. So you're going to be attaching it. And what this says over here on the left hand side again, it's her, her birth. And on the right hand side is just the information that's already in family search. And I don't know that we have this one yet on her birth, but if you compare it, it looks like it is the same. Tenth, this is her birth, 10th of September, 1902, and on the right-hand side is also the right date. But I might, do, I just want to put this, attach this just for proof. So if anybody comes along and says that's not the right person, or you don't have any proof of that, then you really do have proof. So I would just put as a reason, proof of birth, date, and also the place. And I would go ahead and attach that. So when you go to her, let's see if we can get to her. Let's go back and just click off the record. 
Okay, she looks like she didn't really go away. Let's click on her. Let's just see if she, we can go to her person page. Then you should be able to see that she has a record attached now, and that was her birth record. So if we go right here to the person and click on her sources, then that's the source we just attached. And this will also show up on Family Search. So hopefully this is clear and you can um, you can try this just from your mobile phone. Again, you click here, click on Ancestors with Pass, and and go to work and have fun. Have a great day.